Welcome to the lesson on Introduction to Cell. At the end of the lesson, we will be able to define a cell, identify the importance of microscope to view a cell, explain unicellular and multicellular organisms, and explain the variation of cells in shape and size. Mom, today we were told in the class that cells are basic structural units of an organ. Yes, you are correct. Look at that man. He is building a wall with bricks. Similarly, cells are assembled to make the body of organism. As brick is the basic unit of this wall, similarly, cell is the basic structural and functional unit of all living organisms. Cells together form tissues. Tissues combine to form an organ like stomach, intestine, liver and heart. These organs combine to form a living organism. Cells are studied with the help of a microscope. Microscopes are high resolution instruments that are used for observing the fine details of very minute objects. Specimen like inner fleshy leaf of onion bulb is taken on a glass slide. Then a drop of iodine solution is put and cover is placed. The slide is then observed under a microscope. Light reflected from the mirror reaches object and magnified object of the sample is seen. The small microscopic structures that are seen in an onion peel are the basic building units of onion bulb. Each cell consists of a vacuole, nucleus and cytoplasm. Similarly, when a thin skin sample of an animal is seen under a microscope, similar basic units are observed. These cells have dark nuclei at the center. Cells are studied with the help of a microscope. Microscopes are high resolution instruments that are used for observing the fine details of very minute objects. Specimen like inner fleshy leaf of onion bulb is taken on a glass slide. Then a drop of iodine solution is put and cover is placed. The slide is then observed under a microscope. Light reflected from the mirror reaches object and magnified object of the sample is seen. The small microscopic structures that are seen in an onion peel are the basic building units of onion bulb. Each cell consists of a vacuole, nucleus and cytoplasm. Similarly, when a thin skin sample of an animal is seen under a microscope, similar basic units are observed. These cells have dark nuclei at the center. Mom, do all organisms have same number of cells? No, some organisms are made up of a single cell and they are called unicellular organisms. Amoeba and paramecium are examples of unicellular organisms. Some organisms are made up of more than one cell. They are called multicellular organisms. Human body, bird, animal or a plant are multicellular organisms. Do these unicellular organisms perform all the functions like us? Yes, a single-celled organism performs all the necessary functions that multicellular organisms perform. They capture and digest food, respire, throw out their waste material and reproduce. In multicellular organisms, these functions are carried out by groups of specialized cells forming tissues which in turn form organs. What about the shapes of the cells? Different cells have different shapes. Blood cells, muscle cells and nerve cells of human beings have specific shapes. But amoeba has no definite shape. It keeps on changing its shape.
you can observe the part of amoeba protruding out of its body these are called pseudopodia pseudo means false and podia means feet these projections appear and disappear as amoeba moves or feeds a white blood cell or wbc in human blood is another example of a single cell which can change its shape it shall be noted that wbc is a cell but amoeba is a fully fledged organism capable of independent existence shape of cells can be round spherical or elongated some cells like muscle cells are long and pointed at both ends blood cells are spherical and nerve cells are branched what about their sizes mom yes sizes of cells also vary but most of the cells are microscopic in size and we need a microscope to see them mom is it that if my body is big then the size of the cell is also big no size of cell does not depend on the size of the body of organism the size of cells in an elephant human body and a bird differ slightly but they are not in proportion to their body size the size of the cell is related to its function the nerve cells in an elephant and a rat are larger than the blood cells because nerve cells have more complex function than the blood cells do you know that hen's egg is a single cell hen's egg is one of the single cells that can be seen with our naked eye oh It's really great to know this. At the end of the lesson, we are able to define a cell, identify the importance of microscope to view a cell, explain unicellular and multicellular organisms, and explain the variation of cells in shape and size. visit atech academy on www.atechedu.com or contact on 904115277